<laughs> Hello world, it's Curtis Potter with Boundless Inspiration. Today I wanted to come and talk to you about something that, man, it hits me deep in my heart because it's probably one of the most challenging roller coasters in my life. I'm going to play a song for you here in a minute, and um, I'm not affiliated with, with this group. Um, you know, I'm sure there's copywriting, trademarking, and all that, so I um, just have to say that. But it just hit me so deep because it was something that I struggled with throughout my whole life, and it was trading my faith. Um, that's not the name of the song. Actually, if you want to check it out, it's called Hands In It. And, um, man, it's, it's where you put your faith in life. Um, you know, I really feel like for the first four or five decades of your life, every decade is a, is really a new chapter and you essentially become almost a new person because you're finding yourself, right? You know, when you're a kid from one to 10, you know, you're you're kind of in that period where your parents are telling you what to do, how to do it, uh, when to do it, where to do it. You really don't have much say in what you're doing in life, you know. Um, children, man, they're put through some hard times, especially for a parent who doesn't understand how to communicate or allow their child to become um, themselves. You know, and then as a child, you're you're looking up to your parents, and you think they're um, almost like God. They're your superhero. You you think they can't do anything wrong, and you're you're really starting to adopt their ways. You know, I, I say it all the time. It's because it's, it's called the family curse, and you start to follow in their footsteps. And then you got from like 11 to 20 and you're really starting to find yourself like, I'm becoming an adult. When I turn 18, I'm going to do this. When I get my own car, I'm going to do this. Like you're starting to find yourself. And instead of having your faith in your parents who you rely on so deeply, now you're like, I, I just want to be able to rely on myself. And then when you get out into your 20s, it's like smack. There's the real world and you are relying on yourself and you're, you have to have faith in yourself and that's what you run to it is whatever you want to do, when to do, where to do it, unless you really mess up and then you got to go back, you know, go back and, and run home for a little while and be like, I'm only going to be here at this house for a little. But I really feel like throughout my 30s, yeah, I just turned 35, so I'm only halfway there through my 30s. But I really started to think about and and mold myself into what I really trust and love and, and find myself in where I put my faith. See, unfortunately for me, I was a wrecking ball through my 20s, and I was putting my faith in a lot of the wrong things. Drugs, alcohol women. I was, I was a gym rat. I was just like, just stuck in the gym. Um, I had anger problems and I was just, you know, I just had to get in there and push it out and take it out in the weights and push myself to ex its exhaustion. And, and, and that's where I had my faith was my physical self. Um, but I know a lot of times people, they, they put their faith into things and it fails and, and then they resort to drugs and alcohol. For me, another thing, I, I was just so in-depth in, in working, a workaholic, entrepreneur, achieving. I was just pushing to achieve, build a legacy, do something great, make a bunch of money, build something. Just so into being that workaholic. So the thing is, is in life, as you start to grow and adapt and, and mold like the clay, in the potter's house, you're you're trying to figure out what you're putting your faith into. For me, um, as you can see on our wall, my wife and I, um, this is our cross wall. And it's right here in our kitchen. And that's what we really started to put our faith in was the Lord. Um, you know, it, it was a challenge. 
putting your faith in something that you can't even see. See, whenever you're going after money, you can you can see the money, you can see the house, you can see the career, you can you can see the results at the gym, you can see the bar, you could see the drugs and alcohol, you could see the the release that you would get from doing those drugs and drinking. It would make you feel good. That's why a lot of people do it, and they become addicted to it as the feeling that they get. But see, then when we really started to put our faith in, in God, we got that same euphoric feeling of, of feeling good, like leaving church on Sunday and just feeling like you were full, you were fulfilled, and you didn't need to run to those anymore. And, you know, I'm, I'm just here to tell you that if you're struggling and you know that you put your faith in the wrong things, I'm here to tell you that, that I've been at the bottom and I've put my faith in all the wrong things. There was times where, where I'd go to strip clubs and, and it was like, why, why was I blowing that money? I'd buy clothes and jewelry from just to go away. Like, why, why am I putting my faith in that? I put my faith in the anger and fighting. I remembered where I really started to get that as an identity and I became popular because I could beat people up. But I was like, you know what? Like, why am I putting my faith in physically beating somebody to gain popularity? So I'm about to play this for you. And if you just want to listen to it, um, again, I'm not affiliated with them. But just the words in this part of the song, the end of the song. God started revealing this revelation. I had to upgrade the title. It's going to be trading faith. It's going to take you trading where you put your faith and what we have to do which is a very scary thing for people is take our trust out of what's gotten us here and now put it trade it for the presence of what god wants to do in our life trading faith is changing the faith that got you here for the faith that will take you there where is there your prophetic promise where is there you walking in purpose? When my anger's about to go crazy, I don't run to a bottle. That's what I used to trust. That's what got me here. I don't run to money and being a workaholic. That's what I used to trust. That's what I used to put my faith. I don't even run to my husband or wife because they are not the source. They are just a resource. I am trading where I used to go and I'm putting it in the one who can actually heal me. Everything I am, I'm trading. So one thing that I left out of there is the part where it said, I don't even run to my spouse anymore. And see, when we think about the flesh and the world and what's acceptable in the world, especially the United States, it almost makes me sick. And I've talked to so many other people who are, you know, you hear them like, I'm about to move to Canada. I'm about to move somewhere else. If this person's elected, I'm about to move somewhere else. If this doesn't change, I'm about to move out of the country. And it's a shame because that just tells you that they're putting their faith in the government. They're putting, they're putting their faith in, in the world if I can't get this vehicle, I'm going to, I mean, look at the suicide rate. It just tells you, and I, I was a victim of this, where I was putting my faith. And, you know, even the point where my wife and I split up, man, the first couple of days it had wrecked me. And I remember that I was just going right back to that. I almost, I almost ran right back to what I was putting faith into. And I realized the reason why I was on such an emo emotional roller coaster was because so many times I have put my faith into my wife. And I was like, man, you know what? People will let you down. Those drugs will let you down. The money will let you down. That's why you see super rich people that are still down and depressed. Jobs, you see people that got to the highest of the highest level, they've been climbing that corporate ladder just to feel empty. Things will let you down. Humans will let you down. Everything will let you down. 
But just like in this song, God is one of them that won't let you down. He'll always be there for you. He'll always forgive you, give you grace, mercy, love. And if you're not somebody that, that follows God, you know, this may not have been the video for you. But I'm telling you, even atheists will reach out to God at least once in their life. And it's normally when they're at the bottom or when they're losing a loved one. Like, I don't believe in God. The next thing you know, your, your mom's in the hospital about to die in your life. Please, God, save them. And then all of a sudden, where'd your faith just change from? Do you want healing? Because even in this song, it says that's the one that can heal you. None of that other stuff that I listed on earlier can heal you. My wife can't heal me. My kids can't heal me. My wife and I and the kids going on vacation can't heal me. It might for that week. I might feel amazing sitting on the beach, which I ran to that a lot of times. I put my faith in the beach. I moved there and had a place there on Cocoa Beach, Florida, and I loved it. But it didn't just make me like, man, now I'm perfect. I'm healed. I'm perfect. I don't have anger issues. I don't have money issues. I don't have problem issues with drugs, alcohol, anything else. I wasn't just psh, miraculously, magically healed by the beach. And nothing else you'll find on this earth will do it either. Except for faith. So today, I just ask you, what are you putting your faith into? What justice has it done to you? Has it helped you? Are you actually using it as a coping mechanism? Would you get destructed and crumble if you stopped using that as a as a crutch? As a coping mechanism? Because I know for me, man, I thought, okay, I'm going to give my life to God. I'm going to have faith and things are going to get easier. Well, I'm here to tell you if you're watching this and you're about to move towards God, it is not going to be easier, especially to start off. Now, you know, down the line, I, I see a lot of people who are handling it uh, great. They have shoulders. They have true faith in God. But I'll tell you, when I stopped resorting to the alcohol, the drugs, the money, man, it got hard. Faith, believing in something that you cannot see, it is hard. But I'm here to tell you that you can do it. You have the strength within you, especially if you're still watching this video right now. You have the strength and the power and the courage to, to get through it. I believe in you. You are worthy. You are worthy of standing in faith. If you know somebody that really needs to see this video, has been on that emotional roller coaster, send this to them. Send in their DM, text message, email, like, share, comment. You know the drill. Get it out there. Even if you struggle to have faith, but you know somebody this could help, just put a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Curtis Potter Jr. Get on Facebook for Boundless Inspiration. And today, we can all help each other walk in faith. Be that bit closer to being boundless especially with God. I love you all. Have a great day.